finally, finally, just at SFG College. Um, how has this week been? Well, are we any further forward? It's, uh, I've had regular meetings with the um, Department of Education um, officials who are in, in charge of this, and discussions with the school building minister, who who is responsible for, for school buildings. Everything is being done to try and ensure that the temporary accommodation is fit for purpose. And um, I will keep at it all the time. I try to communicate with, with residents. Um, there is an issue because of the weather, because of the, the school are absolutely right. The safety of uh, Burnham Academy, uh, absolute trust, are absolutely right. The safety of the children has got to be paramount. It's taking longer to get the temporary accommodation sorted out properly as, as it was first thought and uh, I just want to try and continue to help the school and um, to try and ensure that the kids are learning it's a brilliant school and I'm trying to get answers at, um, you know in the way, every possible way that I can and again say sorry uh, to the parents and the staff and of course the brilliant head teacher of Frederick Gibber for what has gone on. Do you think we could have a possibility of getting Baroness Barrow and Gillian Keegan uh, down in Harlow, Helena Mills, on a so stage, the schools, and, and, and speaking to the... Yeah. So the priority, parents. the school's building minister has said to me, I asked her, she's going to come down to answer questions because parents have a lot of different issues to raise and absolutely right, by the way, that they raise these. What the priority now at the moment, though, has got to be to get the kids back into the temporary accommodation and the children learning again in the school, in the, in the temporary accommodation. So... As soon as that has happened, I've been promised by uh, the school's building minister that she will do, um, because she's responsible for school buildings, um, that she will do a, a meeting and also bring officials with her. And um, my hope is that we'll also get Harlow Council and Essex Council, all the people involved in education, and alongside the school so that we can answer the the uh, everything that the parents have their right and the teachers and the staff and the head teachers their right to know both what has gone on but also uh, all the mitigating things that need to be done to ensure we keep that brilliant school um, in operation.